Well, it's frustrating when you see that, when the kids knew it was wrong and they just made the wrong choice to do it. New tonight, drugs at school could mean felony charges for some mid-state teenagers. Parents and police are very concerned tonight about prescription pills at Heritage High School in White House. Tonight, more than a dozen students there are suspended, either accused of buying or selling Adderall. Fox 17's Erica Lathan has been on the story today and is in studio with more. That's right, Scott. Of course, most schools have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to drug use and abuse. So these students are in a lot of trouble. They've all been suspended and at least five of them are facing felony drug charges as this investigation moves forward. A tip led police to something they didn't expect to find at White House Heritage School. I believe there were five students that were bringing the Adderall to school and selling it, and another 11 students that were buying it and taking it. Adderall is prescribed for attention deficit disorder, but many students abuse it, hoping to enhance physical and mental performance, especially during exam season. They weren't taking them to study. Um, I know there's been some, some rumors out there in the community that it was part of a sports team or a club that had no involvement with any sports programs or any clubs or you know, it was just these kids, and they're good kids from good families and good parents. Um, they just made a really, really bad choice. The news came as a shock to some parents. I'm upset about it. I mean, um, I was fixing to transfer my grandson to that school, but now hearing that, I may not. Now, we went directly to the school district for answers, but they declined an on-camera interview instead, issuing an email statement saying that all the students involved were immediately suspended pending a disciplinary hearing and that each student will be dealt with according to school policy on a case-by-case -case basis. The ones that are, that are looking at being charged are facing felony uh, charges of uh, possession of Schedule II narcotic with intent for resale. I mean, you know, they're, they're very serious charges. Lisa Flat knows something about the consequences. I'm raising my three grandchildren. I uh, have a daughter now that is uh, getting care for prescription drug addiction. So, yeah, I know it's hit home. Now, prescription drug abuse is hitting home at White House Heritage. Now, police believe the drugs were prescribed to some of the students and then they sold them to classmates for five to ten dollars per pill. Authorities tell us that all of the students are cooperating with the investigation. Erica Lathan, Fox 17 News.